Good afternoon, folks. It's uh, 1.52 p.m. on the 13th day, 8th month, yeah, 2023. And we see this, this image going around a lot here. If somebody says this is um, a directed energy weapon attack proof, and there's lots of things going around and talk about uh, uh, these rockets in, that I see. Being called the dual laser shades, yeah, I'll show you another one that's been going around. Yeah, this one here, that's going around. Yeah, let's see what this other one is that's going around. Is um, this one here. And I want to show you, it's going around. That's a wide image of this smaller one that I, I showed you earlier. It talks about sea level work, it takes flight. And this was from 2020, 2020. And it's being pissed off as 2023. Yeah, this is actually a very provable image. You know, it doesn't take too much uh, for you to fact check yourselves. Because you're going to make yourselves look like fools. When there's so much we can very much prove that is going on. I can prove the next rad created a wind corridor. And at some point I'll do the graphic to explain how that's done. Because we do, we have a lot of, a lot of crap going on. And how to induce lightning is also a big experiment that's done. Uh, as far as uh, being able to draw down things you call dull. You send up a rocket with a thin wire running. The lightning strike comes down. And they have microphones that are actually measuring the sound. It says right here. Right? Equipment in 15 microphones. Spaced a meter apart. And so they launch it. And they've actually mapped uh, the sonicness of, of a lightning bolt. Uh, to, to learn more about it. And then the acoustical signatures of the lightning strikes. There's some great imagery of the, some of the stuff they've created. You often see this passed around this particular image as well. But this is just the experiment. This shows the sonic, uh, the sound waves uh, actually going through. And it shows these experiments here. And that's what these led to. This is not dope. This is a rocket with a wire on it. It's, instead of the kite flying of uh, Benjamin Frank, they, they get a rocket. Right, and, and I'm going to be happy to pass you the links to the proofs of these things so we can speak about subjects honestly. What is an invisible wavelength of light is one you cannot see with the naked eye. So your camera ain't going to pick it up either. And the Lockheed Martin jets use invisible wavelengths of light. And other things that I'm going to talk about is the light pillar pictures that we see so often. I like this. Oh my God, it's a directed energy weapon. No. Light going straight up if it's strong enough, and the ice crystals in the sky are just right enough, like a power plant in Michigan that went up one day, gave off a light pillar. Everybody said that was dual too. And you, you've got a lot to learn about a lot of little topics. And light pillars are very, very interesting natural phenomenon. But, you know, chem can also recreate them very easily. So I'm trying to find a pulse. Right? And this is one about laser-guided lightning. And this is very pertinent to this topic because a lot of the experiments you show are that. Some of the ones that I'm seeing being said or do, and I try to stay away from any of the Snopes. Is there anything like that? Because I trust Snopes like farts. I don't trust them at all. And it's a Soros young machine. As you see, they sent the rocket up. And a rocket, when it goes off, leaves a plume at the bottom of itself. They don't ever play with model rockets. And this is uh, uh, how to trigger lightning with sounding rockets. There's ways to trigger laser beams as well. And one of them is a volcano that's going off. And it's, uh, there's a, an actual astronomical observatory there. They very often uh, use stuff like that. Let me see if I find a Google search here about triggering. And you'll see some of the same images people passing off this door right there. You know, what does lightning look like? And the sound of thunder look like. You'll see these things. Incredible imagery. You see the towers. These all have cameras on them. And oh gosh what lightning can do. And what they've learned to militarize it. You know. Wire explosion followed by the initial stage. It explains it in the colors. You'll see it'll be what chemicals we're using a wire. Uh, here's an example of a, a laser beam to divert lightning strikes. When they, when they can send a beam up uh, to make sure the lightning strike goes down through here. Who knows? I might can be harnessing that energy to make things. And it's just a racket going at. So not everything you see is dual. I can prove next rad is being used as dual. Right? As a weather warfare instrument. And I'll go into that even more 
in the future, but I have to show you this. Some of what you're seeing or not the imagery you, you're hoping to find. Um, this photo does not show recently used directed energy weapons. See that picture there? Look what year is in this. It's the same image that they say was ESA. I could show you an earlier image of the same thing, didn't I? So you've got a lot of the disinformation around the internet that we ourselves have to vet. No, it does not. That doesn't even show Turkey. I just showed you that. I showed you this. I showed you where it was. I didn't play games. This is another place. This could be uh, up in uh, out in California. They do experiments with lightning out there. You didn't trigger lightning. It is a big part of it. Geoengineering. Creating ions and stuff. And it shows, one of them shows how radars can do it as well. Uh, it's incredible. There's storm observation planes. What do they have on? Lightning primer. I, I hate to see the word NASA written on it. Because the very often one plus one is all still adding up the toll. And this is about lightning experiments. So I think you might uh, find that uh, they will tell you what a... Uh, natural conditions can do and then they often tell you how they recreate them and through man-made means even though this is in that society the information you still may find pertinent for yourself you're going to do your decisions yourself now here's a phone that you might find interesting in one of the strikes let's just go right here when amp 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 it wasn't too heavy you're always going to get a commercial da -da 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 -da. the vegan fight Number two, Mushroom Museum. I don't know what that said, but I can say what I want. The Mushroom Museum. Come on, get to the end here. It looks very interesting. I wanted it full screen so we can have a good look at this. And this is with you guys. Is, oh, what the heck is this for photography? Chris? I don't know what this just, just showed me. This is not what I clicked upon. I clicked upon this one. Up here, hang on. I've got a lot of things pulled up. These are light pillars. And from bright light sources such as these, with just the right ice crystal conditions, can shoot a beam straight up into the sky because the photons are strong enough to, to illuminate the light along the way of the crystals and whatever it's interacting with. So the photons react. So that one gave up the orange. That one gave up the white as white light. If that was strong enough, you see a red one going up in the air. And it's just light pillars. Let's see if we can get that other uh, thing going. That's a light pillar over here at Cottage Place. It was, conditions will be just right. I've seen them over the steelworks in Scunthorpe before with the naked eye. It's not just a trick of the camera or digital. These things can naturally occur. So there'll be just the bright light source could even be the reflection off a lake at a sunrise. Right? As is the case here. There's just enough cam uh, to cause that uh, the Jacob ladder effect to go up because the sun is down wall. And it's just how that's going to work. I'm going to start closing some of these as I go along. I got too much crap. Is this the video? But it's sounding rocket, isn't it? Yeah. They send it up. Oh, come on. Don't we load no ads again. They're not having that again. And this is another one. It shows the fires were caused by directed energy weapon. Now, I've showed you that was one year. I've showed you this is another. This is the Michigan Fire Station. Uh, when a, a power uh, a refinery blew up on a winter's night. And it shed big light pillar up, and everybody was swearing that was due to, but that is a natural phenomenon in the conditions that they could lead to that. And so I can show you again here how these images have been used throughout time and to try to deceive us, to try to make our uh, information invalid. And I'm not having that. And I'm not having to come across my messenger any further today. I watched one guy talk about the atmosphere and all this and the your fourth level of the atmosphere, and he's leaving a big part of the equation out. He used my videos in it and didn't credit me. If anything, by saying that in him, it discredits me. And it's insulting to me. I don't know what I, I pulled up on this one. And maybe it was an ad that came up. I'm going to have it. Say goodbye to the DAC. Uh, laser induced lightning guiding, and this is a this is very general things. And this is a great site to learn about optics and, and other effects that you can get in the sky. And with the abstracts about uh, charged particles and clouds in the Earth's surface, and basically making Benjamin Franklin's link, right, the traditional lightning rod, and they found many other ways of ducting, D-U-C-T-I-N-G, uh, that potential down to ground to strike the lightning. Right, look at this here, terawatt lasers in 2021, high-repetition terawatt lasers, and being used to induce lightning. 
the guiding and upward negative lightning leader for a distance of 50 miles was recorded by two separate high-speed cameras. You know, this is done from the ground. Mitchell Carker says they could change weather with, with lasers. He was 100% correct. And they didn't like him saying that. They cut him off the air. The guiding of negative lightning leaders by laser filaments is corroborated in three other instances by very high frequency infra inferometric uh, measurements. And uh, you yeah, have an interferometer, that's nice. The X ray burst detected during these guided lightning bolts events was greatly increased. So they could make the X-ray burst stronger, which could cause more harm to life around the lightning bolt that they're experimenting on. Yes. It can't. It's effect. You're generating an X-ray burst. You know, without everybody with a lead vest, you know. No lead paint on the wall to help you now. Yeah, this work paved the way for new atmospheric applications for ultra short labor lasers, and these are small enough now to fit in gondolas, such as that was used by Project Loon and Scopex, and represents an important step forward, I added that in there, development in laser-based lightning protection for airports. So here's the cell, cellular lightning protection. You feeling any protected from any of the geoengineers? Could they have used geoengineers to put out the fires? Could they have turned off the next red so the winds or done them in a direction to stop the wind flows? No, they blocked up the wind flows in all the straits between the islands except right over that one passage there, and they had nowhere else to go. They squeezed it in and let it out. Yeah, it was basic thermal dynamics and flows take over after that of viscous fluids. And well, with all the meat that's up in our atmospheres these days, is quite a viscous situation. Let me double check that we're still going here. All right, back to the laser wing. Right, these things are all verifiable, all have reference numbers, all of it's right over here on the side. Do your homework, do your homework, do your homework. You got a lot to look at here, folks. A lot to look at. Right, all these clickies over here are what you need. And did I give you that one? Let me make sure. Yeah, I just want to be positive and pop in the, pop in the decks. That's images of laser lightning. Here's that, that determinable uh, thing that's done by people with all these credentials. I uh, can't give a weather forecast for a monkey's touch. And a monkey's touch. And it was over here on lasers. So, right. And it talks about the plasma sparks. It's the usual excuses, but they know how to make it. It's a two mile long plasma spark. With lasers. Combination of using three. Combinations. You know he's just one. Triggered it. Guide natural lightning with lasers. Hey, this, is, this isn't rabbit hole. This is science. Science. Yep. Don't be blinded by the dopers out there who just want you to click their video because they're getting paid for it somehow. There ain't no commercials on this. I have to show you the truth because I don't like lies. I was punished very severely and beaten over lies in life. And this here is to, to protect this by using a light, a laser as a lightning rod. And it must go into something that could then handle it better. Right? That's what that's designed for. It says so. Right? It talks about thunderstorm activities when there's certain miles of towers eh, that occur during laser activity. You've got to look. L1, L2 tornadoes and power was hit by 16 lightning infections. Da, 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 so all recorded strike. You gotta read these things. So after they used it, they saw less. So this is the sales pitch. And they go over here, they go back up the document. And here's where you find that information. Let your take the info Y139 and go to that page and that page and that say, Remember how you used to have to do homework? Boy, oh, you got some homework to do. What section? You got, you, this is where you can find it in this article. We'll definitely going to be having it. Oh, here it is. Pages ahead. We name it later. And I'm going to take more time to go over this. Uh, this is just uh, to show you that not everything you're showing me, see the laser beam goes off, directs it towards a predictable tower, which is what that big thing was, and discharges it. So it doesn't hit your house and set it on fire. <coughs> Yeah, they got other things for that. But I have yet to be able to prove a directed energy weapon's been used in the split second of a lens flare going across a guy's screen to frame a hit for frame or something to say, hey, look, hey, look. There's no proof to me other than proof of somebody who needs to do their homework. I'm going to start shutting some stuff down. So I showed you how that was even misportrayed, right? Because the other one was 2020. 
right? These are, this is the original, right? This is quite verifiable. Taken by people from any angles, it this occurred, right? See where it says it happened at? And it's a different year than even that other side. We've got to do our homework, right? It was, it was uh, not Turkey. It was not Hawaii. Neither was that, and neither was that. That was Michigan after an explosion of a power plant. Don't be lied to. There's many ways they're doing stuff. Now I'm going to move along. I'm going to start shutting some of these down. I'm going to go to the weather now. I have a very interesting capture that I want to show you guys. Yep, there's that one. Oh, boy. Yep, I downloaded these images. Now, I want to show you something very interesting. Now, I've got this focused out here on this little island out here in the, in the Pacific here up the Tasman Sea. And it's got all sorts of devices in it, like this Tesla Tech Arrays here, and smaller uh, weather measuring units. Uh, I have much bigger stuff than that out here in this island. I don't pay no attention to the other things. Over here, you got some TTAs. Look at these here in this field here. Oh, come on. Look, you got all sorts of dishes out here and things that are aiming. This one's so big, it's got to have a wire around. When you see two masts like this and one like that in the middle and the center, like that, that's a Tesla Tecker, right? A TTA. So look that up. TTA Tesla. Uh, and you will find that type of stuff. And there's a reflection of a shadow of the radar over here. And these ain't small. Not at all. You have to wire that in. You don't want no animals walking in there when it's in. There's all sorts of devices here quite capable of doing that. There's another one. Excuse me, uh, the flashes as we go in here. It looks like we got the radar dome on. This one is over here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is here. Yeah, but it looks like to be a station with a dome and a couple of things. But it's, when you see uh, uh, some kind of rescue equipment and stuff like that, there's some helicopters out at this airport. I do understand why they would have the latest weather equipment. What I'm showing you now is that the device is capable of doing the uh, that image I showed you. Those can occur naturally. However, the conditions today with the directions that the wind blows, that is some of my other work. But there's more of these devices. Didn't know about this island. It's quite busy. Quite busy. I'll come over here. This guy's garden. Look what he got. See him? See all the devices? See the shadow of a really tall mass with a device on it over about mid level. Could be that mid level one. Could be some kind of a repeater for a cell phone. Something like that. Communication. That little white thing. I, it does not look like a radar dish, but that does. Right here in this island, quite capable. What's that sound going to do? It's quite some setup, or is that a power generator to operate the other? Uh, that I can't determine. So there's plenty of devices out here. Uh, this looks like it's a solar field, right? Uh, to power this, this set up here. And this didn't always look like this. I went back in time with time machine, I think it was 2016, and the image was quite different when that wasn't all covered up with this big lean tool thing in here. So, Further funding has been sent, and it was a TTA clearly shown here with the gates, so you can go over to it. But like I said, you wouldn't want to be in there when it's operating. It could go for that of energy that could kill your race, that you want fire, or it's a lightning shot to you. It would be the ground. Be very careful. And you can see a dome feature there. You see a T shaped mess. You know, and then it, later on, you had all this on tap. You had changed. The gates no longer meet in the corner. So this has been upgraded movement. Things have occurred that the TTA still remains and still remains usable. So we'll shut that down. We'll go back to this. We'll look at this now. Right. All the clouds in the direction of the wind is, is actually funnel in this direction. Now a natural day, if the, if the wind was just right on the ocean and blew over this island, it could make that rippling effect naturally. But that's beam. It's absolutely a beam. Yet, yeah, the conditions were not conducive for a natural formation. Now you see those often in a, with the best one it always shows is, 
The Isle de Guadalupe does a, a lot. You see some REMF down here, triangle cloud here. But this is very interesting, that one. That is an absolute full-on beaming from this island. We were in at Hump area where I showed you that TTA. And so that's why I wanted you to see that. I'm going to go over here and see if I can catch it on NASA Worldview, which I refuse to load all morning, hoping to, uh, to catch this. So let's have a look now together. Always remember the answer is me. If you don't like it, okay, learn about it. So we're going over to the island over here. And I want to see if I picked up that EMF. It's difficult to find. So give me a moment. It's totally hidden under a square now. It might come in. So it's not showing up on Worldview. Unless I've misidentified the island. I've got lots of chem that's streamed over Auckland. Look at these lines here. They're going right toward the airport in Brisbane. It really, an hour and a half of absolute... Absolute madness in our sky. One, two, three thick ropes. And if you keep all your pollution in one line and then sweep it up, that would be great. So I'm not getting a confirmation of that image on anything else other than the live that radar feed that I had loaded very early this morning. I had to be very careful not to not to close this. Yet it was important that to so ain't too far. I'm not done looking. It was not conducive for that naturally occurring. I have to say that it's all wrong. And there's no radar feed I know of that I can see what uh, is going on at that that particular site. Yeah, I'm not giving up yet. You know, just stay yet. Well, look at all the squares out here. You got a lot of them going on. Here, very squared off look. It should be about where the island is, and it's got a satellite break over here where you can't really see the images very well. And so I would have to call the information I'm seeking not available. That's right, that's how we do that, you know. We don't go inventing that. I think there's enough wrong with this world that we can prove is wrong. Is that we don't need to be inventing nothing. Which one do I want? I want this satellite. I'm going to have a quick look now at some of your weather. I'm going to have to give you a couple of days ahead. And then um, I get a headache and an earache. I'm going to go lay down. I've been doing this homework since about 4 a.m. Let's see what kind of bonds you got going at. Here's some heavy action air coming across here. Lots of bunchings up going on. I really want the radar on this. I'm going to have to turn a few things out. Maybe. Let's see what's going on right now. Wagga, wagga, wagga. Beam, sweat, wagga. You see it straight off? Did you, set, did you catch it? See the beam? Right there. Cutting a storm. Now, if this was uh, the winds going across uh, into a Maui, and this radar beam was on like that, and I had a beam going here and a beam going here to the side. The wind would come in like that. It would actually get funneled in. All the pressure of it would increase, and then I knew another V going out the other direction. It's an instant low pressure drop and causes causes winds. Very fierce winds can happen uh, by using the Nexrat radars that I've noticed through the years. <clears throat> Yeah, getting fried, getting fried. To, they're wagging the dog, man. They're wagging the dog. From Penrith and Jasper's, they got a great big old line of crap went over the top. Of and I'm not going to load all that. Yeah, the best way I could do that for you today would be with the, with the radar itself, the satellite. And I'd have to do the blue. Oh, look at all the streamers of chem they sent over you at night. This is nighttime Kimbans. Moonlight management. Yeah, that's horrendous. 
it's a terrible deployment going over your top. Won't be, well, you won't be having your windows open tonight down there. It's a bit chilly for that. Square sheets off. I know there's a lot of CGI in this, but you can see the typical bomb formations that we so often I, I show you, like when I go over here to the Saturday. And this is what today was. And I got another bust here. This is why I didn't load it. How many directions of the wind were blowing here? We got a gravity wave every day? Do you still believe in that bullshit excuse from mainstream media who told you to wear a mask and that that vaccine actually protected you from the COVID-19 and you had to keep having more because it didn't? Yeah, well, you're owned by a bunch of salesmen. You don't want to be owned. Act like it. Stand up and fight with us against these lies. All of them. And you know, our far community of people that say they're truthers are spreading lies. Then uh, you're not truthers. You're just being woke. You ain't awake. We, we, when we woke, we often hit the snooze button. A little lot of pulsing going on over here for, for over a very well-known blasting site. How many directions here? Come on. Again, this spot. So this is telling me that Broomer is in. Port Hedlin is in, putting a pulse out this direction. You see it right here? Zzz, right there, the added scissors. Right there's, there's Port Hedlin's. Broom is passed it out this wave, and its pulse has actually sent these off. Boom, boom. Now, this silent here has sent one off in this direction here, and I'm not going to go hunting for their device right now. It's obvious. In the V, if you drew a compass circle or arc around here, you will point right at that place uh, from equal radiant points from the center. Basic mathematics do not change, even though they tell you the world is becoming strange. My God, look at the Kimbon sustainment over here. You can debate the why, and I'll always tell you it's because we let them. It's the reasons for the land graves are spelled out right in front of you. It's called Agenda 2030, Agenda 21, Agenda 45. Stack you and pack you in the big cities. Whole areas of your country you are never allowed to visit again. Never ever allowed to visit again because they want to call pristine areas. And every country has uh, its own master plan. It's, it's almost like somebody uh, drew lots and decided who was going to have your cloak. He wanted crucifying you. Look at this in your sky over here. These are chembams. Ten minute jumps backwards in time. These are not naturally occurring cloud formation. Not at all. Look at this clusterfuck here. I'm getting upset. My headache is kicking in. I will not be denied. I will not stop telling the truth just because I have a freaking headache or and a topic is giving me a headache when there's a chem bomb over here outside of Adelaide exploding and affecting the weather. And the toxicity of the air is higher than if it wasn't dead. So many pollutions exploded again. Shape charges going on. Come on, the cloud don't fly by with exact winds in that formation for a half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. More explosions on the backside. Boom, 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 boom. More. The life of a cam bomb. Emanation point with the, all the lines pointing right at it. Right at it right here. Hey, dude, next time you steal my captures, change the color of your cursor when you crop the screen out to make sure people know it's not mine. At what point did I become the Judas goat of the Judas goats? This is unfair. Look at the Nazified sky here. Hey, swastika sticker jet. Who owns you now, Klaus? Fourth Industrial Revolution sounds like a Fourth Reich being rebranded. Look at this crap here with the ass on it. Hey, Superman's vest right here. That's just staying sky. That's your Kim Bambi ears. And having a laugh with you. You think this is a natural cloud? They're going to write unnatural cloud in the sky. You won't see it. You won't see it. Even 10 minutes jumps. Boom! See the explosion on that one? Pow! How many directions of the wind here? Here, 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 here. It'd be the biggest water spout in the world. And you got an island out here beaming it up. Pinning the flows right here. Beaming a corridor. To help fold the moisture. To help make a law. To help fuck New Zealand one more time. And I'll show you. I'm going to run it through for you guys for a few days. 
in here. I'm looking ahead. I'm going to give you about three days. At that run a minute. I think I got a water here. Uh, quite of my favorite thing to drink is water. Yeah, a little action along the coast road in the turf over there in New South Wales. Straight harp line of storms being directed in a straight harp line, predictably. And it gets into that corridor from that island over there off Port Mac and just takes a dive north. Because they have a beam corridor. It has to go up and over. It has to go up and over the island. It has to go like this. No, I can't go that way. Oh, there's a V right there. So you have to cut a bit in towards the top of that. Get it brought back around. Hey, you got a beam coming out down here. Making sure you got a curve. Close down the straight over here with a beam across here. With labias and genitals. You got fucked. Weather manipulation is the movement like that. And the movement of the air around the, around Maui was very, very obvious. As they do other islands, you'll start to recognize them all. What do you mean other islands? There's more master plans. There's more in tinder boxes. And they don't need do to start a fire if you can fan the bellows. If you control the corridor of the wind, you control the fire. I said everybody on this one neighbor and another, we pour the water here, the wind goes there, right? Those people have nowhere to go but in the ocean. They were murdered by geoengineering and the use of next red radar to pin the flows. And if an X-ray radar, which is directed energy, is used as a weapon for weather warfare, then I have the absolute proof of directed energy weapons deployed during the fires to create the wind corridor that killed people. And that is provable. And that is fact. A look at my past videos. You'll see it is so. Now that was your weather unfolding. Here's a quick look at some of your five days totals. Which I'm not in general agrees from. I think they're a hair too high down here and a hair too low up there. Okay, so we'll be watching this. I'll give you a better forecast later. It looks like you've already had a good inundation, but when we go on toward the tens, you add another five to ten centimeters in. I depend upon your exact location. Because, like I said, I ain't always in full of gravity shit. And I think that's a bit low there for on the tens. Okay, so I'm going to update that a little more. Now, you may say earache my eye. And I got a butt ache. I mean, I got a terrible area. And with that said and with that done, hey, hey, please, please fact check yourself. There's some heavy totals coming here on the, on the trees. So before I go, I'm going to have another look at this. Let's give you a zoom in on this and see what you can expect to have to wear. Uh, to accommodate in your days, very, very heavy falls. Looks like a bit of wintry mix here going in an exact straight line. Once it hits the pass of Penrith, it's going to unload on Sydney, drop a bunch of rain and fall right on my Wollongong, Wollongong. The rain is lasting much too long. And bone. <clears throat> so there's, here's a few days of that. That's not done yet. Here's the second bench. Has to come up the coast. If so, you're getting, you're getting all that very, yeah, it's just a soggy season and your main day of, uh, of problems is coming in the next 24 hours. Yeah, you, once you make it through the soggy season out here, boy, is it going to get cold. New smalls to be reported, non-existent. That's just slush, wintry mixing. People with bad tires are going to have problems. And while any rain that falls in the snowy areas is going to melt, and add that to the rainwater subtles of the swollen streams that kill the dreams. All right, folks. You'll get you'll get shag nasty out there today. He damn sure did a weather move on you. He damn sure did a beaming right here. Which when the chemtrail mass came over, it gave some the, the chemical catalyst gives something uh, to nucleate because they can vibrate. It'll give off ions and cause condensate to occur as water droplets, which show up in the interference pattern of the pulse wave. It goes out in a pulse. Looks like it has gone in a V and is pointing directly at a device. The conditions today and were not conducive for this to occur naturally for the wind flows. And sometimes the angel of death is riding in the winds. Stay safe. Big love.